Folks, uh, hello and welcome to everyone. Uh, what I wanted to do real quick uh, as we approach the end of uh, week one is uh, just make sure that everybody's navigating the course okay. And I wanna just make sure that uh, there, there is a clear distinction between uh, the first couple of assignments and the topics that are chosen for those. So uh, again, let me just uh, start with uh, a couple of uh, administrative things for you here. When you log into your course, you'll see a page that looks like this. And I just wanna make sure that you know, when you scroll down here, uh, there's an, a welcome note here from me. And then there is some discussion about the group project. What I want to make sure that you understand here is that there's a video in here. If you haven't watched it yet, I hope you will, because it'll give you a good overview of the project itself and the expectations and the timeline. The one thing I'll say about the timeline uh, that uh, I, I tried to reinforce in the video, and I will do again here, is uh, much of this course is backloaded, meaning uh, about 75% of the work is going to be due in the last four weeks. <clears throat> and so uh, in the first couple, three, four weeks, uh, the value of that time to you is to make sure that you are well grounded in your group and in your project about how you're going to execute uh, because like I said, in that last four weeks of the course, there's two tests, I, uh, three submittals on the project, and of course, the final submission of the project. So I just want to make sure that all the uh, individually that you all recognize that and as a group that you've talked through that and, uh, you know, you've come up with some sort of strategy to make sure that uh, the last four weeks just isn't, you know, incredibly burdensome. And so, uh, again, just recognizing the value of these first four weeks. And then uh, obviously uh, some, some uh, language here from Columbia on the academic honesty policy. In that regard, uh, if you go up to, I don't, and I'm not quite sure, I don't have the student view here, I'm just gonna use my own view, but if you go up here, uh, and, I'm sorry, and you go to quizzes, there is a, uh, there is a plagiarism, uh, plagiarism tutorial quiz that I would like to have everybody go through and make sure that you uh, obtain a perfect score on that so that we're all clear on uh, you know, that issue. I, I certainly hope it's not an issue, but I just wanna make sure everybody is uh, well aware of the college's expectations. From a navigation standpoint, if I go up here to the content tab, you'll notice that, uh, first of all, make sure that you uh, clearly read the syllabus. And I believe uh, if you go to the start here link, here is the syllabus. And that is obviously the first place uh, to start to make sure that again, that you understand the schedule and that you understand how you're gonna be graded in the course. Below that, uh, you'll see a, a link for each week of the course. What I want to point out in here is, so if you go to week one, for example, notice uh, there's, a variety of, uh, there's a variety of links here to your assignments. What I want to make sure that you do see at the very top is there is a bunch of instructional material. And obviously, as you uh, get going in the course, each week, your number one responsibility is to make sure that you're reading the assignments. And I will tell you that there is absolutely uh, no substitution for your responsibility to read the material uh, and do the best you can to be grounded in the material and make sure that uh, if you have any questions that you are asking those questions uh, through, um, tip, uh, what I would prefer is if you go up to the discussions link here, you'll notice in the, in the list of discussions, there's one for general course questions. If you have any sort of content question, uh, that would be the place to ask it. So going back into the content tab here, uh, and if I look at the instructional materials, uh, this will take a second to load. So again, there, there's a general overview. Uh, activities, we'll talk about, again, the, uh, the assignments that will be submitted during each week. From a lecture standpoint, uh, there is uh, obviously some discussion that will go along with the material. If you flip through the next uh, options down here in the bottom right, uh, more discussion. And then ultimately at the end, you will come to each week, you will come to a video that I have done that will help you get through the homework. And I know that, the, you know, I expect that there are various levels of experience with Excel. Uh, if these videos are helpful to you, great. If, uh, you know, if, if you're already an Excel pro, uh, obviously, you know, you, you don't need to spend your time 
looking at these, but I go through each one of the homework problems that is assigned. And I think that uh, at least in the video, you'll find I've given you at least the 80% solution on how to handle that. But certainly, like I said, if there are any questions, please post them to that general discussion board. And uh, that way, everybody has the benefit of your question and my response to you. Uh, let's see. I think from an administrative standpoint, let me just go back here and let's see if there's anything else. I think that's good. Again, make sure you read the syllabus. Make sure each week you're going through the readings in the e-text. If you have questions, please ask them. And then if you uh, need any assistance with the homework, uh, you'll find, like I said, you'll find a video each week in the instructional materials section of the course. Uh, let's see, let me just go to the syllabus real quick. I think that's probably the best place to make this differentiation on the, uh, let's see, this, this paper that's due next week and your project. So let me, let me just pull this up real quick and get down to, let's see. Actually, let me, sorry, I apologize. Let me, let me just go up here and let's look, let's look at week two. Everybody is currently assigned to a project group and I hope that uh, you have all made contact with one another and uh, generally have talked about uh, the first two things that you need to submit. The first one, uh, this article summary, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to go on the internet and do, a, do an internet search for something along the lines of uh, corporate success with analytics or using analytics to solve corporate business problems or uh, data analytics in industry or something along those lines and find an article uh, that uh, explains how a certain company faced a, uh, a particular business problem, how they were able to identify the problem and then uh, find and analyze data to help them resolve the problem. And the purpose of this article is really to just give you a very, very broad overview of what the group project is intended to be. What, once you have found that article, and you've all had a chance to discuss it. All I'm looking for is a is a 300 word summary that again sort of talks about this this was the problem, this was the approach, here's the data, here's the analytical technique and here's how the results help the company devise strategy to address the problem. I'm looking for uh for one submission from each group, though I want you all to discuss it and uh obviously have input to the article summary. All I need by the end of week two is a single submission from each group. And again, it's a very simply a 300 word summary. What I don't, what I would prefer you don't uh, um, review and submit is, you know, uh, you know, Microsoft does these three or four things when they have uh, business problems that they're trying to solve. What I, what I want you to try to find is something that is some actual analytical work that was done. So there was a, there was an, uh, a, an intentional data collection. There was uh, you know, some sort of analytical approach. And then there was analysis that resulted in strategy and implementation. That would be the best article because that is exactly what I'm looking for in the group project. With, with that said, uh, the topic that you pick or the paper that you pick for the article summary does not need to be the company or the topic that you use for the group project. And, uh, in several cases in this group project, uh, there has been somebody within a group that uh, says, hey, I've, I've got a problem at work right now that I'm trying to address. I've got some data. Can I use the data? And absolutely, that is uh, that would actually be uh, the best case scenario for everybody if everybody has something going on at work that they would like to try to work on uh, within a group. That would be the best, and certainly if you have data. But the group project is something completely different from the article summary. And again, what the idea is, is uh, we're going to go out and we're going to find somebody who's struggling uh, with uh, some sort of business problem. It doesn't matter what the business problem is, as long as, uh, you know, we can identify the problem, we can come up with a research question, meaning what is it that we want to try to resolve or what is it that we want to try to address using uh, some data that we're able to find and then, uh, you know, using some sort of analytical technique or techniques. Uh, to derive information that results in strategy and implementation to uh, address the business problem. And again, uh, you know, whatever inter internet search you want to do, uh, you know, uh, 
problems in industry, um, you know, solving, solving big problems in industry or solving big problems in small businesses. It doesn't need to be large industry. It can be whatever. And like I said, if anybody has something that sounds like it's on the order of this within your own company, and you can certainly, if you can find some data, that is great. But again, the premium here uh, at the end of week two is what is called the project roadmap, which is explained in the video. And it's also explained in the template that I provided to each group on your group discussion board. And again, it's really the, the two big takeaways out of that project roadmap are what are the business or what is the business problem that you are going to try to address and how have you uh, put together a research question or questions uh, to uh, address that problem. And that's really where all of this starts. And until, until we understand the problem and the research question, it's really difficult to go find data uh, because we you, obviously what we want is we want data that when, when we go through some sort of uh, analysis uh, that we are able to uh, derive information that will help us again, drive strategy and implementation to address the business problem. So that is, uh, that is kind of the, the, the big scope of what the project is. And again, the point I wanna make is uh, the, the, uh, the article summary and the group project are separate topics. They, if, the, if you want to make them the same topic, that's fine, uh, but they can clearly be separate. And again, if people, uh, if, you know, if partners within the group can find something from their own business, that would be great. So again, I, at the risk of inundating you the first week, I thought I would just put this together again to uh, go through some administrative ideas uh, in the course and then show you the navigation and then make sure that we understand we're on the right track here with the article summary and group project. So have a great week and please let me know if you have any questions.